Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Shift to State. We're on two wheels again, guys. And um, if you uh, live your life anything like me, the sun comes out a little bit during the winter like this and you get all excited. And you're like, whoo, I'm gonna go catch some warm, warm sunshine. Yeah, well, the sun's out, but it's still cold. It's probably like 45, but I'll take it. Definitely, that's why I'm on my bike, enjoying it. But, uh, so with that said, this isn't about today's topic, but spring is on the way. It's right around the corner, guys. Let's keep praying and hoping. And, um, but with that said, like, for you guys that are all year round riders or about to pull that bike out the shed and go for a ride, man, let's keep in mind, there's still salt sand on the road. We got to watch out for that stuff. And, um, man, I just definitely feel like around these, uh, colder months there's more people on the road so just watch out for them because they're not watching out for you so before we do get on topic about what this video is about today I want to say if you noticed in my other videos I've talked about or recent videos I talked about getting a new bike definitely not getting rid of this one never gonna get rid of my baby but uh my wife and I, she's actually on board with it, but we've been looking at a Road King and definitely talking to my buddies over there at Hampton Roads Harley Davidson and trying to work some numbers out. Uh, but uh, it's very difficult because I'm in a little bit of a cheapo. So, been trying to work the numbers out and trying to make that happen and a lot closer to my goal. And that was one of my goals for 2021 is getting that road king so we're gonna see how that goes um after that I want to go ahead and just talk about you know let's with the cold weather and everything I'm praying for you guys in Texas because uh, y'all got hit hard and Texas is not used to winter weather so let's say a little prayer for them guys and wish them the best man and I hope y'all get on track to a fast recovery um so anyways <laughs> guys it's cold uh but what i want to say is man if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button welcome to the family hit the notification bell i'm still a small channel but the family is growing and i get excited about whether it's on instagram facebook or my youtube channel man it's awesome that people all around the world are watching my videos so i consider y'all family but uh with that said, Facebook, Instagram, guys, I'm really trying to grow that and post like motivational stuff on there and, you know, behind the scenes stuff. So go to the Facebook page, Instagram page, hit like, follow, whatever it may be. Woo! Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Need to get a speedometer fix. Oh, man. It's still cold, but I love speed. Oh. Um, yeah, anyway, so go over there. Like, follow, you know. Be part of the family. Keep up to date. Uh, so, get this video. You saw the title. Title this video. Basically, cheap helmet now. You know, for hanging your helmets up. If you like me, right now, my helmets all over the house are basically I put them wherever I can put them. I've been looking for an affordable helmet mount, you know, to hang up on the wall so it's not just all over the place and. I finally found one and it was by I wasn't even looking. So with that said, I'm gonna tell you more about it back in the house after my ride. See you guys in a minute or an hour or three, maybe. It'll be a minute for y'all. Be a long minute for me. So let's get that video started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're back home after a nice long ride. And um, let's show you what this uh, nice new helmet mount looks like. So this is the helmet mount that I was telling you about. It's actually a shelf rack, just like the one over here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say, excuse the echo in here, but um, so this rack is actually good for either hanging your helmet this way, facing upward, 
or I'll probably hang it like this going down that way safe and sound so whatever way you prefer we can make it happen so let me tell you about this rack um like I said it's a shelving rack we went to Walmart we were walking around I don't even remember what we were looking for that day but uh walking around Walmart we ended up down the shelving section and I came across this and I was like huh just looking at it let me see I got the other one right here that I'm actually gonna be mounting up so like I said I was looking at it I was like I wonder if this would work and um if you guys are like me like uh you know I end up leaving my helmet laying around everywhere and eventually you find somewhere nice to put it or whatever but I always wanted some way to mount it up on the wall hang it up on the wall safely securely and uh so came across this and picked this up at Walmart six bucks it was around six dollars and then of course you've got to buy the mounting hardware and all that stuff uh if you're a handyman you know sheetrock can only hold about so much weight before it just rips everything out the wall so if you just plan on going to the sheetrock make sure you get like some wall anchor mounts or something like that but in this case i'm gonna make sure i hit a stud and in order to do that you gotta make sure you have a stud finder but let me tell you about this so this is a hyper tough six inch ribbon self bracket Pick it up at Walmart. That's the barcode right there if you want to like research it, find it online, whatever it may be. Six bucks. Good deal. Does the job. Looks nice. So definitely recommend it. So uh, I guess why I got you here, I'll show you the mounting process. So look into the wall. We got a hole here and a hole back there. So we're just going to hook it up right there. Find a good spot how you want it. Like I said, you're going to need a nice good stud finder. You want to test it out, make sure it works right. Looks like it's working good to me. Anyway, so place the stud finder on the wall, get you a good one, good quality one, and bam. And I'm probably gonna start it right by here. I like this one by Craftsman. I'm a Craftsman guy, so let's see, make sure. I'm very particular about making sure I hit the right spot. Looks good. Wow, that one has a little like mark indicator on it. Pretty cool. Just tap the button. So once I get the first one up, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of mark how I want it. So I'm probably gonna hang this one right about here. Make sure it's nice and level. If you wanna be all particular about it, you can get a nice square level, whatever, to level it out right. All right, I'm gonna mark that other hole. I'm gonna grab my drill. Now what I did find when screwing this one in on the top part here, it's a little harder to get in there. So it's gonna go at an angle a little bit but just do your best unless you got a better drill than I got but I like my drill nice little impact so it just rams it in there so and bam found that stud so we'll just make sure it's nice straight up and down because uh, I don't want to make too many holes in here so first screw is in second screw going in the second one's a little bit easier. Bam! All right. So it's that easy. It takes less than like, what, two, three seconds to install this thing. And uh, like I said, it's not a bad find for six bucks at Walmart. Yes, it was made and designed to be for shelves, but um, I like to get creative. And, you know, you can either make, you know, cool helmet racks yourself or you can make it nice quick and easy and clean with a quick purchase like that it's my wife's helmet here so like i said you can hang it either way let's see make sure it gets in there bam so that looks nice and neat and pretty it cleans up my uh laundry room a little bit or let's see we probably hang it this way too and b a u t full be a beautiful so a little bit of in there so like i said that's that's that pretty easy setup probably leave it like this being all like perfect but but no it holds so just make sure you hit a stud or get you some good wall anchor mounts it's good set up so with that said guys i just want to show you that quick little cool deal this find that i found um i hope you guys are all having a good day Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, still didn't want to show my face, so that's why I actually had this cool little GoPro mount up on my head. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. 
subscribe button, join the family, do me a favor, head over to Facebook, give my Facebook page a like, go over to Instagram, follow us on Instagram, post a lot of cool pictures over there, and um, y'all ride safe, and uh, man, I'm looking forward to spring, summer, spring, all that good stuff. Y'all ride safe, catch y'all next time. Uh, we're out.